Hello, this is Jeff Tortora, drummer of Blue Man Group, and this is our Las Vegas production. And as you can see right here, for a modern drummer, of course, uh, we have uh, DW drums uh, and Sabian cymbals. And you got some Vic Birth sticks, and, and the setup consists of a, I think, six and a half, three millimeter aluminum snare, uh, 14 inch tom, 10, 12, 16, 22 kick and uh, hats are the HHX power hats. Then we got a 16 inch thin, 18 medium thin AA Sabians, the HHX Evolution 20 inch, and then uh, 12 inch Radia. Underneath that, say uh, 14 inch AAX mini Chinese to get that, you know, the auxiliary hat effect as, uh, well, we'll uh, demonstrate later in the show. <laughs> and a uh, uh, 10 inch HHX Evolution Splash, the 19 inch Holy China, and then good old Ice Bell. And as you can see, we run in uh, this Allen Heath uh, ME1 monitor, which is where we wear our monitors. And you know, metronome, like there's a screen up here so we can see the stage in case, you know, because I gotta watch the blue men during the show and kind of call cues and stuff like that. And you can sit, you see the screens, open and close during the show, so we get a per, you know, perspective of the stage and the audience. And, uh, oh yeah, DW9000 hats and kick pedal and the airlift throne. Yeah, so the, the, the reason, like the, which is a, not the total norm here, having the 14 over here, it's almost like having, you know, say you have two floor times here, the main uh, beat we have is called the Mandelbrot, and you use your left hand here, like, for example. So that's a lot of the patterns during the show, and you can see why the 14 is convenient over there. So, yeah, so this is the main, the, the, the kit. We're gonna go in a second over and check out the percussion station, but uh, this kit is mainly, you know, kind of in, you gotta really pay attention to the blue man during the show, because it's, it's live theater. <laughs> and uh, so that's why we said we have this screen and, 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 and the monitor to be able to, um, to, to do that and the Blue Man play. We'll show you some of their instruments in a minute and you gotta line up with the percussion. And then there's a Chapman stick player that plays bass and then an electric zither you'll see over there and guitar. So it, it, it creates quite the unique sound. And uh, we're gonna go check out the percussion rig. And over here we have the percussion station as in like, I, I, I'm playing this rig tomorrow. We rotate because we have sometimes 14, could have, the holidays we have like 21, 24 shows a week. So it's crazy. So I'm playing kit tonight and percussion tonight. Oh, and by the way, these sticks, and then we wear glow in the dark face paint and costume that it's all in black light. So you can't see us um, unless the black light comes on and then we look like, well, you'll see later, two dimensional uh, figures. Okay, so here I'll give it the low down, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. And then I believe this is a 26 inch. Where's a mallet here? Bass drum here. <laughs> and then uh, an Udu, uh, another 18 inch uh, medium thin crash, and then a 10 inch leopard with, I think it's a radia underneath. And then this, uh, we have a chopper, 10 inch chopper, which actually when I did the Blue Man group tour called How to Be a Megastar rock concert tour in like 06, Sabian made these for us as like a prototype to try out and then they worked out great. So I kept making them. I think some dude from uh, Hawaii, I believe, made these logs. You see in the show. This is a Brazilian instrument, uh, the timbal. A shakayu. And a tamborica. So, it's a little different setup than the, the percussion rig. And here, same thing, we have a, like a screen uh, directly ahead, you can see here and there. But you can, see, you can see the stage and the crowd, and we just listen to each other. and. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a structure to the show. There's a, a set list, so to say, but then there's audience participation and interaction that you have to uh, follow that varies night to night. So there's a little room for improv within the Blue Man aesthetic. Little stuff in the show. It's a little pattern. One of our drummers, Todd, came up with in one of our songs, Time to Start.
for you. <laughs> These are the smoke drums, which, when played, smoke comes out of them. play the smoke drums and the blue man also play these as well multiple times during the show. All right, and here we are, Kalen Almendinger, one of our blue men. Blue man captain is gonna talk about these bad boys. Yeah, so these are some of the instruments that the blue man plays during the show. Uh, this one we call the Phoenix. The one on that side we call the uh, Spider or Scorpion. It's got a couple different names. But basically uh, we get inside here you can see all of these arms move. It's uh, all done mechanically and, and called technically uh, as, as the show's going. And so as we're, we walk around with them, this whole thing moves and, and then these arms come in and out as we're playing. It's a pretty cool visual. We strap in here and that allows us to navigate this thing around the stage. And as you can see, there's a couple two-sided drums here, some single head drums here. These, some logs, uh, and we play some patterns. Excuse me. And so on. Um, and while that's happening, that, there's another blue man in that one doing some complimentary syncopated rhythms. And then we kind of get them into a certain position here on stage, exit and uh, actually kind of back them up to the audience so that these rigs on the back of them are now facing the audience. And then the music shifts and we end the song on a pretty intense high note, kind of doing these sort of solo sections back and forth, some more syncopated rhythms, but um, it's pretty fun dynamic. The blue man, when the blue man plays drums, it's never about like virtuosity or technique. It's always uh, about the, the sort of in, the intention of communicating with the audience. And it's a bit of an experiment. We like to think of it kind of as an experiment or, you know, we use a lot of different visuals, sort of sending out messages, playing, you know, smoke drums, seeing, seeing how it's affecting the, the crowd. And what's exciting about it is that there's no, there's no fourth wall. We're really here in the space with the audience and, and kind of in your face, uh, seeing what effect we're having on you. It creates a bit of participatory vibe and you'll find people screaming out and, and um, it's just a nice loose environment. And we get to play on these fun little unique custom built rigs. <laughs> And if you want to take a look at this one, um, as this one's moving around, you can see why we call it the spider. It's got all these legs that move like so. And I believe these are all hydraulic. And it's got these little pistons that um, shoot the bottom part of the leg out. So it actually looks like it's crawling along the stage as we are walking in it. And um, you can see higher tuning than the other one for the the drums on the front side, as well as the ones in the back. 
that's basically how that one works. It's kind of like a steampunk spider nightmare. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> of us, you know, all seven uh, instruments, musicians, yeah. that are uh, playing together because it's all kind of everything's not your standard typical instrument, so to say. Yeah. Besides, uh, I mean, the drums are obviously not <laughs> their drums, but when it's all played together, the style, the music, and what it's in case as Kaylin was saying, you know, it's not about even though some of it is technically challenging, it's not about you know fancy chops. Yeah, yeah, it's not about virtuosity. It's it's about communicating a, an idea, and and it's just a, such a fun ensemble to play. And I mean, these the musicians we play with up in the loves are all monsters. And it's such a privilege to, to be able to play with them in the ensemble. And when we all do play together, it, it you know, especially in this the piece that these are a part of, it's a it's a big wall of sound, um, really visceral, high energy, uh, which you can see, you know, kind of blows the audience's face off sometimes. See and feel. Yeah, yeah. It's great. It's unique. <laughs> kind of like it. On behalf of Blue Man Group, myself, Jeff Tortora, Caitlin Olmendinger. Modern Drummer, thank you for coming down to check out our show and interest in our instruments. <laughs>